So if you grow up in rural Alberta, especially if you're from a cowboy family, like Ian Tyson looms <laughs> above everything, right? He's kind of a legend around these parts. And it turns out he's a legend in, in uh, cowboy circles all the way down to Texas, all the way down the, the Rockies. But over the last couple of decades, he's, he's become a really close friend and a mentor. And uh, I just talked to him a couple weeks ago. He's doing pretty well for 89, still picking every day. He, he has a, at his ranch house out by Longview, he's got a little stone house about a half a mile away, which he calls the stone house. But every day he gets up, hikes out there, plays guitar for a few hours, works on some tunes and walks back. So he's still, he's still doing the thing after all these years. The song I chose to do is one of my old favorites that no one really ever talks about. So in the spirit of cutting obscure numbers from these people, uh, Montana Waltz was a good choice because it's, it's a, I, I had to ask him about some of the details of it because it's, 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 I think it's about a guy who works at a bar who's sort of a father figure for this woman who eventually ends up taking off with this guy. And so it's sort of a, what do you call it in literature, um, third person omniscient, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool tune and my band did a really cool job of it. and. Ian wrote some really cool chord choices into the harmony, and uh, it's a good showcase for his for his master of the craft. Montana can still make her cry. Too many long nights without him. And when Charles and Russell gets to painting the sky, she's long gone in the shadows. 